morning everybody we are rolling out of this truck step we had ourselves an awesome night of sleep nice and quiet peaceful in here yeah very nice to sleep in this truck stop there's only like four trucks in here and one was parked over here and one was in the corner and oh no i guess uh, six of us there was three of them oh five there were three of us were there in the corner so yeah very nice and quiet that's for sure let's get out of here to the back roads again. Yep. We got 528 miles to go till we will be home. Sweet home. Yeah. We should have no problem making that today. Unless something goes wrong. Other than that, we should make her today. We should make it home. What a gorgeous morning again. Nice and sunshine. It's not windy at all. I love it. Yep. Now well, we just gotta go through a million towns before we get home, but hey. <laughs> that's the way it goes when you have to drive back roads. You gotta go through a thousand little towns, you know. Yep. Logger, loggering truck. Yep. My dad wanted to go to Kenora to go on a uh, little bit of a ship ride over there, but I won't make it back on time to make that, so. Yeah, my uh, sister is here from uh, Paraguay visiting and. Uh, well, we're doing all kinds of stuff just to uh, entertain them, them and uh, also have fun at the same time. All that good stuff, you know. They're only here for four weeks and then they will be gone back to Paraguay again. Because that's where they're, uh, they call it home, you know. Let's get down the road and have ourselves an awesome day. Thank you guys for joining me on today's vlog. We would appreciate it if you stick through the whole show. Look at this guys. We're cruising along on these back roads and look what we came across. A beautiful lake. And a lot of people are living really close to the lake up here. And uh, Speed limit reduced to hey, It is gorgeous. I would love to live on a lake like this you know live in a town around the lake like this i love water you know i love going fishing and camping oh yeah it's a gorgeous day to be out here on the water too you know going through a little bit of an old town it looks like looks like these are really old buildings <laughs> at least that's what it looks like I don't know if that really is the case, but oh, there's a couple of campers right there. Oh. <laughs> One guy's got a satellite dish set up over there. Speed warning. <laughs> All right, I guess we slow down then. In 0 0.2 miles, turn right on Lake Superior yeah. Circle Tour, US 2. Look at this uh, thing they got up here, like an Indian head, right here on the river or on the lake. I remember this little truck stop up here. Yes, sir, I do. Yep. No, we should not be too far away from Wisconsin anymore. I think we got probably another hour or so, and then we'll probably be in Wisconsin. Yeah. Let's see if we can make this tight corner. Oh, thank you, four wheeler, for stopping down there so I can make my turn easier. Appreciate it. Continue on this road for 53 miles. And there you go. So now I don't have to go over the curve, you know. 
Got a little bit of a mom and pop type of restaurant here to the right. Yeah. That's an interesting building. Anyways, let's continue cruising along here. Look at that, we got a smoke bear coming up. Yeah, I guess he's got to patrol the su uh, Saturday uh, traffic, you know. <laughs> Not much going on up here, but hey, we got to patrol it.
Manitoba, you know. Well, I guess the, the highway 2 goes all the way to Grand Forks and stuff like that, but even further than that. But I'm going to go along the highway 2 for a while and then uh, then it bends off to other highways. I gotta take the 46 there for a while, then highway 1, and then 71, and then 72, and then I get back onto highway 11, and then yeah, that way you can make it over there to the border. See, now we're starting to climb this hill that I was telling you guys about. Yes, sir. Anyways, we'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, we just stopped here at the border here in Boro, Minnesota. We had to stop there because the way uh, this load works is. Uh, because I'm just going, they call it in transit. And what it really means is I have to put the load in bond when I come into the United States. And then when I exit the United States, I have to stop at the United States border and cancel the in bond. And then I can proceed to the Canadian customs. And then they have to stamp the paperwork as well. Yeah, so it's a bit of a process to do this the way I have to do this, but we gotta do it. We gotta do it. No matter what, we gotta do it. But well, we got the Canadian customs up there, so we'll uh, turn the cameras off and we'll see you on the other side. Here we go, guys. We are officially in Manitoba now. Yes, sir. -y. That was not a long process at all. This border crossing usually is pretty good for crossing over here. Yep. Welcome to Manitoba. Now we got about an hour and a half to go and now we'll be in Steinbach, Manitoba. So we should be in Steinbach at 7 o'clock. Yeah. Now we'll drop our trailer and uh, I guess we'll uh, do our paperwork tomorrow or whatever. Not a big rush on the paperwork so yeah, then we'll be home sweet home. Tomorrow is Sunday, so we'll get to spend Sunday at home. That's awesome. I love it. I love it when I can spend the whole weekend at home, you know. Well, let's get down uh, home and have ourselves an awesome weekend. Alrighty, guys, we have gotten to Steinbach. We've already finished dropping my trailer. Now we gotta go about half a mile to go home and we will be home. Yeah. So, it's been a good day worth the driving. Our 530 miles in today. Now all that's left to do is go home and hug and kiss the wife and kids. <coughs> Alright, take a shower and have a good evening with the family. Yes siree. So, we'll see you guys later then. behind me that day is gonna come